大家好，欢迎收看五月六日的《世说新闻》节目，我是主持人高子源。加州治安环境每况愈下，《世说新闻》团队为了找出乱象背后隐藏的原因，今天专访了洛杉矶县警局局长维拉纽瓦。期间，他可谓是金句频出。They're trying to sell the idea that somehow if you're in law enforcement, you're a sellout, you know. But that's the hipsters. They're the barista. They got the earring and、uh, you know all the facial tattoos and all that. And And basically, to BS people into believing that somehow they're doing something, they're not. They're only just staying in office. And instead of investing in public safety, they're investing in social experimentation, and it's not working. I'm a lifelong Democrat, but right around 2020, when the Democratic Party here in LA, they just ran to the left so far. These are targeted at safety, anti-Asian. 加州政治环境及反警风气真实又直接的回答，令人相当意外。今天的节目，我们就来一起听一听全美最大郡县治安官机构最高长官对如今洛杉矶县治安恶劣环境的解读。想必很多在美国生活的华人民众都有明显的感觉，最近两三年的美国治安出现了相当严重的问题，尤其是在加州，不仅抢劫、盗窃案件频出。甚至犯罪分子集体暴力打砸抢的事件也是屡禁不止。那么究竟是什么原因造成了如此混乱的治安局面呢 ？It makes it a little harder because we're making the arrests, but last year alone, George Gascon rejected over 13,200 of our cases, and these are cases where we made arrests, we identified the suspect, had all the evidence presented, and specifically because of his special orders, he said, "I'm not going to prosecute." So now where we're left, we're just letting the guy go after we caught him or her, you know, committing the crime. That emboldens the criminal element because they realize there's really no consequences, so they're going to continue engaging until the cost, the pain threshold, is too high for them to bear. Then they'll stop. But the board of supervisors wants to continue with this defunding because they want to experiment, do social experiments. The things we just throw more money at the homeless industrial complex, and magically, the homeless will disappear. We've been doing that for ten years. It's been an absolute failure, and they continue to fund things that are failing massively. Like now, they insist on housing first as the official policy of the county. Housing first has been the primary reason why our population has doubled of homeless, because you can't build your way out of the problem, no matter how hard they try to say. And there's no evidence whatsoever to support their positions. Well, the pandemic is a huge challenge for anybody. In fact, you hear the LA Times talking about, "Oh my God, the governor led us. The governor led us through the pandemic." Well, anybody who's running any organization has to lead you through the pandemic. And the fact is that we're on the downslope of the pandemic. And we didn't lose、uh, hardly anybody in our custody environment, and that's because of the efforts that our custody personnel did to maintain the population safe from spread of COVID inside the jails. Because remember, it's one of the largest congregate living facilities in the nation is our jail, and、uh, we were successful in that regard. Civil unrest. Was another big challenge because everybody, all the politicians, all the activists were saying that the cops are bad, that we need to just get rid of all the prisons and jails, and everyone's going to be safe. And they're they're smoking something very powerful, but it's not reality. That's for sure. So we survived that. We kept L.A. from being burned down to the ground, like what happened in Seattle and Portland, all those other places. Didn't happen, at least not in the areas that the sheriff's department polices. It happened in Fairfax, Santa Monica, and Long Beach, but all of those were dominated by mayors who were telling their cops not to do anything. The third big challenge is just keeping the department afloat with the defunding. The efforts of defunding is literally harming our ability to keep the community safe. But the board of supervisors wants to continue with this defunding because they want to experiment, do social experiments. I'm a lifelong Democrat, but right around 2020, when the Democratic Party here in LA, they just ran to the left so far that it left people like me. All of a sudden, I look conservative when I haven't changed who I am. 
But the crazy train that went to the far left, that was a progressive movement. The people who describe themselves as being woke. And they believe in defunding law enforcement. They want to get rid of the jails, the prisons, and think that everybody's going to sit around, you know, in circles singing Kumbaya. And it doesn't work. It's just not grounded in reality. That's the same crowd that thinks we just throw more money at the homeless industrial complex and magically the homeless will disappear. We've been doing that for 10 years. It's been an absolute failure. And they refuse to identify that. So the Democratic Party, now they're trying to purge moderates like me out of the party. Okay, they're so far to the left, they don't even recognize. 洛杉矶县警局局长一职，是一个由选民选出的职位。维拉纽瓦在接受采访中的直言不讳，让《世说新闻》团队颇为惊讶，少了政客般的说辞，多了许多大白话，让我们的小编也感觉到他是一个真实